the left tackle for TCU today was Brandon Coleman, has played some left tackle in the past and moved to left guard this year. And that was simply to kind of get the bookends on the same side. Remember last season during the national championship run, it was Andrew Coker on the right side. But this year, they started the year off both at the on the left side of the line at the left guard and left tackle positions. And today, you've got to get a little bit of a different story because Coleman manned that left tackle position. Brandon Coleman, we talked about the fact that he's played a little bit all over the place. Left guard, he's played some at left tackle. You saw him at left tackle today. He brings that run blocking element to that left tackle position. Uh, roll greater tight. Uh, he throws smaller defenders around. Uh, heck, last year in this game, in the fourth quarter, he threw a couple of players around on a couple of knockdown blocks. Very effective player. And, and while he's never going to be just a pure, silky smooth pass protector, he's big. He's got long arms. He has heavy hands. And I think when, when you get him on a deuce block, double team, against a three technique, whether he's at the guard position or even if they're doubling uh, with him from the left tackle position, you know, he drives his legs and, and creates forward movement in those situations. Yeah, you know, who's going to be able to replace the impact of Steven Vila, the second round pick for the Los Angeles Rams? That's where Coleman comes in. And I think this helps him because now you've got experience playing out outside. Now you play the left guard position. You kind of move up and down the offensive line, and that's going to increase his stock. And with his size, uh, I think in movement, I believe Coleman should have a pretty good chance to get drafted relatively high.